the ending of the culture of Tonton Makuto in the police force. The police was becoming, getting out of hand. You see police officers behaving like uh, they were from Mars. They were behaving like, uh, you know, you know, Makut, these were from Haiti. Uh, they were deployed by uh, the former president. They used to call him uh, Papa Doc. Papa Doc. Uh, you were police officers. You are Uganda's police. You are law enforcement officers. Those who force us to follow the law cannot be lawbreakers. You may not like the law, but enforce it as it is. And then advise, us, advise those of us who make law to make adjustments. Because nothing in nature, you see in nature you never see, see sharp edges. There are no sharp edges in nature. There is nothing perfect in nature. The edges are round. If the law is inadequate, quiet and advise us, we shall go to parliament and fine tune that law. But don't break the law. Don't break the law. Don't go about beating Chagulanyi. No. Chagulanyi should be treated. Chagulanyi, BSJ, whoever is in opposition, don't beat them for their opposite ideas. So contain them for behaving unprofessionally, conduct, conduct unfit for public convenience. When these fellows are doing their, their conferences, because these political parties are, within, are legitimate. They are legal. We have them in the Constitution. Uh, me, I didn't like this business of Marat Party, but uh, Ugandans went into a referendum and said, we shall go Marat Party. We shall write it in the Constitution. So whether I like it or don't like it, I have to respect it, because that's the, that's the law. So when you are dealing with these fellows of the opposition, as police officers, don't deal with the opposition. Deal with bad conduct. Yeah, so Terry Chagurani, Terry BCJ, Terry, I don't know who the other one, one can say, if you want to do your meeting, don't do it on the street. Don't do it in the market. Don't do it near school. Don't do it, you know, show him where to go. You say, ah, if you want to make noise, go to Kororo, go and jump up and down. When you are tired, you go home. Yeah, if he's going to Ginger, take him to the market, some, no, not the market, some place, the playground. Say, ah, you go there. And let him go there with his people, his or her people. They jump up and down, shout, and they, they can insult the, those of us who are in politics. They, when they are finished, they go home without inconveniencing anybody. Let them exercise their rights while respecting the rights of others. They should exercise their rights, their constitutional rights, while ex respecting the rights of others. Don't come to our markets. Don't experience us on the street. Don't, for you, you are going to a rally. Me, I'm, I'm, I'm doing trade. One day I was in a market, and I had my door open. I was doing something. This man who was carrying a bag, a bag of posho, came and in Luganda addressed me and said, Sebo, jawe melembe jo, msewe na kuyangi. Meaning <laughs> that you remove your peace, your comfort, let me <laughs> carry on with my, my burden. Hey, so if these fellows who are doing politics have their you know, liberty, they should not inconvenience our daily struggle to exist. Now you as police officers, your job is to enforce the law. Enforce the law to the letter. Don't beat opposition. No, 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 no. Deal with errant citizens. There is a difference. That's why I tell the opposition, when you want to do demonstration, that is legitimate. But when you do riot, then we shall also become rioters. Demonstrate, don't riot. Deal with errant citizens, who have different ideas from mine, which are not necessarily your ideas, 
don't beat the opposition and bring, bring us a bad name. Because for, for us as government, we are not interested in harassing the opposition. But for you as police, deal with people who don't conduct themselves properly, but stick to the law. Don't go beyond the law. That's not your responsibility. <laughs>